So it's, uh, it's, it's July. It's, uh, we're calling it Battle Cry July, getting back on the horse, getting uh, your habits in, but also uh, it's gratitude month. So what is something, big or small, that you are grateful for in your life today? I'm going to start with Rob because I gave him a big lead. Uh, I'm grateful that I've been able to maintain my employment throughout. Working man. Got a J-O-B. Damn. That's good. That is good. Yeah. Mental health as much as anything else. I know that you dangle by a thread on that stuff, so. Uh, I got a really nice car in the mail. Yeah. Um, yeah. Postal service. <laughs> Postal service is, uh, they're, they're a little bit overworked. Gratitude for family. That's what I'm hearing. Jasmine. Really? You still like yours? You've been trapped with them. I got one family member that's a cop before and a cop with Billy Goat. So the theme, the theme of gratitude this morning, Bob, seems to be family. But uh, I'll let you decide for yourself. What are you grateful for? Uh, grateful for the opportunity to be in the gym today. This is my outdoor family. Outdoor family? Well, it's away from the house. Oh, <laughs> this is outdoors now. This is how quarantined we are. Yeah. We are outdoors. <laughs> Happy, happy to do that. I need a raise. Do you have a mask, Bob? Yeah, I'm just supposed to be wearing it. Yes. When you're, when, you're, when, you're, when you're outside of that square, you must be wearing it. So if we're inside the square, we're also wearing it? Well, you're inside the square, you just need to have it on you. Uh, like, like, in case that you need to go get a weight or something. You know what I mean? So just be ready. Be ready, that's all I'm saying. Is the pocket's okay? The pocket's fine. I just want to make sure you have one, we would give you one. If you didn't have one. I mean, I would tase you because I just told Kyla I would do that, but, but then I would give you one. Warriors, I'm grateful uh, to be here. Uh, we started a gratitude jar at Training for Warriors, and uh, the first piece of gratitude that I saw in there was for Familia. Interesting that the Familia is all on the same page with uh, you know, how important family is. And uh, I, I reciprocate that. And um, having something to do, having a purpose, and having positive people like you in my life, man, I feel pretty fucking lucky to, uh, to, to be in this position. So thank you. High five, just a Y five. All right, I'll get done talking. Let's do some jumping jacks. I've got the first five, you got the second five. And go! One, two, three, four, five! Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five! Second set. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Last set. set. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, what? Seven, what? Eight, what? Nine, what? Eight. One, two, three, four, five. Six, Louder. Seven, 
better. One, two, three, four, five. I just realized that everybody in there probably couldn't hear me. <laughs> I love you guys too. Zoom family. Zoom family. We we're just talking about gratitude. You better have something to be grateful for. You had time to think about it. Okay. <clears throat> we're going to warm up a whole body stretch and uh, relax. Then we're going to take a one minute knee grab test. So we will take a one minute knee grab test to check in on how your knee grab situation is doing. So uh, it's going to be a fun day. So we're here on the ground, and we're going to start with some neck rotations. So Bob's up on his knees, separating, like spreading the earth apart with your knees. Glutes are on. I'm taking my hands, pushing the knuckles down to the ground, lengthening those traps. And we'll begin with just Looking left, looking right, looking left, looking right. And so one of the things that we're doing when we keep our glutes on, we're isolating out that neck so we're not borrowing from the hip or different places in the body. Now we're going to draw a big circle with your chin. I'm going to go five clockwise. Five counterclockwise. Get right. Switch it up. Again, knuckles pull into the floor. Wow. Does anybody else's neck just crack the entire time? Yeah. You tell how much we do not use the neck. Now you're going to tilt your head to the left. Slow down, Jasmine. We don't want to. Uh, then to the right. To the left. So I want you to open up those scalenes. Go ahead and place your hands on the ground. We're going to. Uh, what? I'll talk loud. So we're going to do scapular rotations. Elbows are locked. I'm drawing big circles with my shoulders, separating the shoulder blades, bringing the shoulders up to the ears, down into the hip pockets. I'm going to do five big circles. And when I do this, I don't want my neck to lift or tuck, meaning I want to keep a neutral spine. My head should be looking straight at the floor, trying to, to, to not bring any unnecessary movements into the, into the training. Then I'm going to reverse the direction and do the same thing. I just get lost. Yeah. There's a lot going on. The reason, so Bob just said he gets lost. And I, and I like that he said that because there's four joints in the shoulder. But oftentimes we get stuck using one, maybe two, and we forget that we have a lot more to do. And that, that's why the snap, crackle, pop goes on, because muscles wake up and they go, oh, yeah. So uh, we're here. And now while we're here, we're going to go ahead and attack that shoulder a little bit more directly. So we're going to do some rotations. And I'm going to take my hand, and I'm going to place it on my low back. And I'm going to get into this almost like a child's pose, but I'm not sitting all the way down. And I'm going to take my shoulder. I'm going to dip it. And then I'm going to lift my shoulder to the sky, rotate my head, look at the ceiling. So I'm bringing it down. I've got this chicken wing with one arm behind my back. Looking up, down. And then you're trying to keep that arm stiff. You can see me bending it a little bit. I'm trying not to bend my arm. But so sometimes it happens. You're just going to rotate. We're going to do five on the right, five on the left. Ow. Wow. 
So as you can see, the theme is how many different ways we can use the shoulder and upper back, and what we can recruit. We're going to go five reps here. Planting my hands again, and I'm going to lean forward over my wrist. We're just going to start to gently stretch the wrist, rocking back and forth. Then I'm going to take my hand, index finger, wrap it all the way around, point it back at myself. And I'm going to plant, and I'm going to just gently bob. You can feel it kind of stretching those forearms, biceps, wrists, rocking back and forth. Yes. So good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant my hands again, fingers facing forward, and I'm going to get, I'm going to go into a plank, then I reach my butt in the air, and I'm going to pedal my feet in this downward dog. So I'm going to stretch those calves and hamstrings, my butt way up high. Then I'm going to drop down into the upward facing dog. I'm going to get here, and I'm going to lean over my wrist just a little bit. And I'm going to look up, tuck the chin. Look up, tuck the chin. Look up, tuck the chin. Look up, butt goes back high. I pedal again. Pedal. Back to the uh, upward facing dog here. Tuck the chin. Look up. Tuck the chin. Look up. Boom. <sighs> Neck and shoulders nice and loosened up. Now we got to do the same thing with the hips. So I'm on the ground in a little shim box position. Belly butt facing forward. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my feet in the, exact, in the exact same spot. I'm going to rotate out and over. And I'm pushing off the ground to help myself assist. You can already feel things going snap, crackle, pop. Nice. Now, Jasmine's already where I want to be. I'm going to lift up my hands. And then see if I could just keep myself over there with the core. But if I need to grab my shin to keep myself from falling back, I will. Up, back and forth. Up. Ah. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Yeah, yeah. So, loosen up those hips a little bit. Now we're in the Cossack stretch. Open up that groin. I'm going to sit on my foot, bob back and forth here, stretching that toe, stretching that groin. I'm going to do 10 reps. Then I'm going to lift and tap my foot 10 times, keeping my knee or my elbows locked. And I'll switch sides, do the same thing again. Ten reps each way. So we're going to be glad that we did all these uh, hip and groin warm-ups when we do our knee grabs, because your hip flexors are going to be burning here in a second. One, two, 
So Coach Josh was reviewing the technique for the knee grab yesterday, looking at the test. And lo and behold, we were being pretty strict here at Training for Warriors Portland on the form. We were more strict than the instructions demanded. So that means is you're doing your knee grabs fine and do as many as you can just like that. If it feels, a little, uh, if it feels like you're getting a little uh, off track with your technique, I'll let you know, but it's probably better than they're doing it in South Carolina anyway. So, meaning uh, all our reps have been counting for a long time. <laughs> so good job, everybody. Uh, we're gonna do some lunges before, so to get the legs and the, the hips warmed up a little bit more, and then we're gonna take our one minute test. <clears throat> so, to warm up that groin, I'm going to do uh, a step to the side. I'm gonna do a touchdown. Then I'm gonna draw my fingertips up my chest to the ceiling, come back to where I started, and then hop back to the center. A lot of stuff. I'm gonna hop out to the other side, all the way down, draw the fingers up to the sky, come back down, up to the center. We're not in a hurry. What we are is we're letting these movements wake up all the muscles in our body. Rob, you look as graceful as a ballerina or an NFL lineman doing ballet. <laughs> nice work, Heather, exactly right. Nice and slow, get that butt down a little bit more. Good to see you, Stila. I wanna see some sweat going. Drop it down, up, out, dropping down, up, out. Okay, to review, the knee grab. We have one minute to do as many reps as we can. The knee grab is a core, is a core drill that uses the front of the body and the back of the body. That's why, it, that's why it's so fast and explosive. It's a great exercise for a couple of reasons. But today, all I want you to do is make sure your hands are not all over the place and then fire the hands forward. Shoulder blades touch the ground, that's one. Two, three, four. I would take the test with you guys, but I have to de-mic so I don't break the microphone and it takes us like 10 minutes to get that right, so I'm just gonna watch today. But I'll, I'll post a video of me just totally destroying Bootsy later on. So right now, everybody get on the ground. And if you're at home, I'll tell you when we start or you can time yourself, however you want to do it, but I'll be counting down. We gotta get the music right. Get a little death march going. All right, knee grab, test. One minute, starting in five, four, three, two, go. Oh yeah, so you're counting for yourselves. You are your own, uh, you're, you're your own coaches right now. I want you to count your own reps. There you go, Warriors. Everybody's looking good. Just do the, do the hip work that we were doing before. Just do some of those. Stretch it out. There you go, Kyla. Try to keep those feet from sliding around. Get them sticky to the ground. 25 seconds remaining, Warriors. Hands on the chest. Throw them forward. That's right. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Come on, Stila. Come on, Heather. Come on, Steve. Five, four, three, two, and scene. All oh, yeah. 
So. You have a number. Write it down. Text it to yourself. Reflect. If, you, if, if you're in the dojo, you get, if you guys want a mascot, you can go write it up on the board uh, to, to see what it is. Or compare it to what it was before. Because we're going to test again at the end of the month. We've done a lot of knee grabs. So you'll have a chance, you'll have a chance to revisit. All right. Now that you've done your one minute of, of knee grab check-in, it's time to get your weights. We're going to do a speed strength workout today. So today, we're going to be working on and I want you to do the warm-ups with me as I describe them so that you get the pattern set before our, our first set. So we'll do them together. The front squat. So if you've got two dumbbells, you can hold them like this for a very vertical front squat. You can hold them like this. If you have one dumbbell, you can put it on your chest and, uh, and do the I Dream of Genie version like I like to do. However you want to do it, it's fine, but you're going to be vertical. We're going to do seven reps. And it's, this is a warm up. So we're just going to go down, pressing through the outside of the foot, driving the hips forward, exploding. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That's right. Beautiful squats, everybody. Should feel a bit of a stretch when you get down there. The push press. Dumbbells are on the shoulders. I'm just rocking a little bit with my feet, so my knees are going to come out. I'm pretty vertical. I'm going to power up through my legs, follow it up with the hands. Catching. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Don't be afraid to use your legs, Bob. It does help. Upright row. So the dumbbells are here in front of me. And I'm going to pull them into my chest. Come back down. So. Just before that, you did the bed row. <laughs> nice. We'll do, seven, we'll do seven reps. Elbows lead. And we'll also be doing the bent row, which is get your butt all the way back, drop into the hinge, back is flat, and I'm pulling up heavy pants. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got the shrug. So this one, the only thing I want you to be careful of on the shrug is not rolling your short shoulders forward or back. Straight up. One, two, three, four. Don't kick your head forward either. Seven reps. The Romanian deadlift. I'm going to be here. Butt's going to come back. As soon as I feel that grab in my hamstrings, power in the hips forward. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Nice. Curls. So, palms facing forward, fast up, fast down. This is speed strength, so we're not trying to go slow like we normally would with a curl, and that's all good. So you've got a chance to practice everything now. So we're going to go through this, and we're going to do as many reps, or sorry, we're going to do this in accumulating speed. So every round, we're going to try and go a little bit faster than the last round. We're only going to do four rounds. So we don't want to wait until we're slow. We want to, we want to end while we're still fast. So <clears throat> I'll be going along at my pace. I'm demoing, talking about the exercises. If you need more rest, you just get more rest. 
If you want to stay with me, you stay with me. That's perfectly fine. All right, warriors. Clock is ticking. Front squat. And go. One, two, three, four. Squeeze in those glutes. Five, six, seven. Push press. Bending, exploding. Two, using those legs. Three, four, five, six, seven. Bent row. Butt back. Heavy pants. Three, four, five, six, seven. Upright row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shrugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. RDL. Butt back again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Curls. One, two, three. Palms facing forward, Bob. Six, seven. Nice work, man. So, you're going to rest. So remember when we were doing this in the dojo, you would have a minute to 90 seconds while your partner ran through this. That was a perfect amount of time because it kind of kept the partner driving a little bit faster. And 60 to 90 seconds is kind of the ideal time for your nervous system to recover its neurotransmitters. So I'm watching the clock. I'm already 30 seconds into my rest. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going to do another 30 seconds of rest. And then I'm going to do my second set. And the second set, I expect, will be a little bit faster than the first. So three more rounds. Front squats, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Push press, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bent row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Upright row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shrug, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. RDL, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Curl, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whew. A lot of, that's a lot of reps, a lot of sets. That's two down. When in doubt, keep the technique perfect and move a little slower. It's not about how many rounds you get in. It's not about M reps. What it is about is developing a pristine movement pattern in your brain so that in real life, IRL, your body develops the way that we want it to. Strong, balanced, flexible, mobile, handsome. <clears throat> Okay, that was two rounds for me. I'm coming up on my third round. Yeah, yeah. Front squats. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, 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 four, five, six, seven.
That was round three. A lot of times, like, besides the curls, the curls are like the outlier, right? Like, you could go heavier weight if it weren't for those blasted curls. Nice work, Jasmine. Front squat, push press, yep. So, that was round three. We're coming up on round four. So good. A bad knee grab? Yeah. Sure. I mean, it's just a little bit sloppier than what we do. Like, they're touching the ankle. They're not going all the way up. I saw people doing that at the summit, and I was like calling them out, and they were, they were like, what the heck? What? <laughs> yeah, exactly. People were, I'm the asshole. As, as, as is always the case in my life, I, I'm the asshole. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, 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 three, four, five, six, seven. Woo -hoo -hoo. So, Nicely done, warriors. Everybody's looking great. So hopefully you have a band at home. If you don't have a band at home, you can take those tiny dumbbells that you were using for your speed strength work, and you can use them in the next exercise. So one of the things that we're working on in the month of July is tendon training. Tendon training. Anybody see any of my videos on this? No, okay, it's coming out. But tendons, tendons are made up of the same things that your muscles are made up for, same sort of cellular structure. But it's denser, it's thicker, there's less blood flow, there's less, uh, uh, there, there's, there are fewer cells or smaller elements of the body. Tendons attach muscles to bone. Ligaments attach, attach bone to bone. So to, to get the tendons thicker, stronger, more durable, we want to train them. There's two ways, there's, there's lots of ways to make tendons stronger. There's two big ways. One is lift heavy weight. You squat 300 pounds, tendons are like, we need to get stronger or we'll rip our muscles off the bone. The second way is the way we're about to do, and we're gonna do high volume in one movement pattern. So when you do a lot of reps, you, do, you create something called capillarization. More blood vessels are created to bring resources to that muscle, in this case, the tendons. So we're going to bring capillaries to the shoulders, to the elbows, to the tendons of the upper body by doing a shit ton of reps. So I'm gonna show you how to do this with your band, but you could do it with a dumbbell. We're gonna do a one set of 60 reps on the glute bridge press. So I'm gonna take my band, I'm gonna flip it, I'm going to cross the band, take the X, so I've got a loop, I'm gonna cross it up top, up, over the top of my shoulder blades. Then, I'm gonna sit down. You, you, however you want. You sit down however you want. You've got that loop over your shoulder blades. You get into the bridge. So I'm here, and then I do a floor press 
constant tension in my abs and in my shoulders. Press, come back down. Squeeze that chest. Let the shoulder blades separate. Squeezing the chest, locking out the elbow, and we're going to press through 60 reps. I'm on four, five, six. When you come down, you don't want to come down fast, but you don't want to whack the floor. Eight, nine. Keep squeezing those glutes, Bob. Keep them up there. Keep the hips up high. So don't rock them back and forth, Bob. Just keep the butt in the air. See how I'm not moving? There you go. Now you can focus on those shoulders. Yeah. 13, 14. So you're going to feel this in your hamstrings, in your glutes, in your shoulders, in your abs, triceps. Constant tension. How are we feeling, Jasmine? You okay? Heart rate's up? Good. Kyla, how are we doing? Yeah. So we're pressing. At the top, make sure you squeeze the chest. You're punching, punching forward. You're getting long. So I'm repping it out. It's a meditation. Woohoo! When you are finished with your set of 60, grab some water, rest. You want to let your uh, heart rate come down a little bit. Now, if that was really easy for you, who, was that easy for anybody? You can, uh, you can grab like five or tens, you can grab real lightweight and add it to the constant tension of the band. Because we're gonna do two more sets of 60. Yes. <laughs> I wrote down, I didn't, know if, I didn't know if we'd have enough time. It wrote three and then I erased it. But we have time. So, you're gonna rest for 45 seconds and then 30 seconds, you're gonna get back at after it. There's fatigue that is supposed to build up in this. That's why we're doing it. That is why we're doing it. All right, second set, warriors. Nice, Stila. It's like a cat untangling herself from a ball of yarn. Good. Sixty reps. Three, four, five, six, seven. Well, a little weight goes a long way. I just noticed that. One more round, warriors, as your muscles are burning. Can you feel it, where, where we're hitting it, what we're doing here? Shoulders, the upper body. Over the course of the quarantine, we did a lot of body weight exercises. And body weight exercises are awesome because 
They allow you to move in, in three-dimensional ways, control your own body weight, build strength and endurance, but you don't, it's hard to get a lot of movement pattern reps. Like if I said, do 180 push-ups, that's a lot of push-ups for anybody, like, right? It's that, that, that's very difficult. But you could do the same pattern with very gentle resistance and build up capillarization like we're doing today, endurance, and that movement pattern gets better and better as long as your technique is good. So let's do it one more time. Last set. Nothing like a little uh, super band burn. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, woo, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, <laughs> Oh my God, I have to drop the weight. Nice work, Steve. Good reps. Oh, triceps, man. It's like no matter what exercise I do, I always feel it in the tricep. Could be, could be doing a curl, a curl, I feel it in the tricep. All right, warriors, it's time to do some abs. Let's uh, knock the dust off here and uh, get things moving. So we're going to do four exercises. The all leg V up, the military crunch, the straight arm, straight leg sit up, and the TFW twist. Now, all these could be done with a weight. So I'm gonna demo them with a weight. You don't have to use the weight, but it adds a little bit of extra zap, zest. So, alt leg V up. I'm overhead. I'm coming up, I'm touching. I'm aiming for that foot. Shoulder blades are getting up off the ground. So, it makes it pretty exciting. So you're gonna do 10 per side. The military crunch, the feet are flat. Overhead, up, back down, overhead, up, back down. The straight arm, straight leg sit up. Almost the same thing, but this time, I'm reaching to the toes, sitting all the way up. Arms don't bend, knees don't bend. Rib cage stays down, spine stays flat when I reach overhead. The hip lift, okay, not gonna do weights for this one, but you're just kicking up to the sky. And then the, the twist, where you're here holding the weight, going back and forth. I'm only moving between a 30 degree space right here in my center, so it's not a big movement. I'm just going back and forth quick. 10 of everything. So you're painting your lower abs like, I mean, you could do, if you want to do abs, um, you could do like a kneeling plank, you know, like thus. And see if that, if that hurts though, don't do it. So if that doesn't feel good, yeah. 
Yeah, you could also do um, a triangle crunch, you know, or this one. Just less is more. Okay, warriors. Yeah, alt leg, be nice, Bob. Everybody's looking good. Good job, Jasmine. Good job, warriors. Nice, Heather. Lifts and then the twist. got the alt leg V up. You've got the military crunch, feet are flat, up overhead. Then you've got the straight arm, straight legs, sit up. Oh, there's five. I thought there was only four. Ha! Huh? Then you got the hip lift. Then you got the twist. Yeah. Okay, Kyla, then get your butt down. Good, good. Perfect. Squeeze those shoes together. Squeeze those knees together. Warriors, when you're done with your second round, you can start to do the homework. So the homework for this month is the training for the 75 rep challenge. All it is is 20 seconds of push-ups, 20 seconds of knee grabs, 20 seconds of mountain climbers. That's the, the 75 rep challenge is just those three exercises, so we're gonna practice them. Just 20 seconds, clock is ticking down. So start, and you just do as many push-ups as you can in 20 seconds. Then you do, and Kyla, if you're are you doing any of those things? 
Knee grabs. Okay, then just do the two. Hip lift, TFW twist. So, tw 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds for your, f your final round. I'm gonna do my homework right now so you can see me doing it. Got a debris pile of dumbbells here. So, I'm looking at the clock. So, uh, Kyla, when we, when we do the mountain climbers, you're gonna be here, hips pretty low, and then just come up and touch, come back, just touch, just go really slowly. Yeah, walk your shoulders past your hands. There you go. Yeah, easy. Less is more. All right, 20 seconds of push-ups. Then 20 seconds of knee grabs. Here's the demo. Here's what they did in the video. They did this. You're not grabbing your knees or shins, and you're only going like 60 degrees. You're not even. Straight. So, we were just, we're, we're just doing it more completely here. It's harder. It takes longer. You know. Imagine what our knee grab scores would be if we did them that way. Everybody's getting 200. Oh damn. And then mountain climbers, 20 seconds. What? The French toast. 20 seconds of push-ups, 20 seconds of knee grabs, 20 seconds of mountain climbers. When you are finished, give yourself a round of applause. High five to everyone who showed up and did the thing. We went over gratitude today. We, you have your first gratitude entry in your jar and your journal. So a lot of people said family today. And that was the uh, theme of our gratitude was familia and uh, the people closest to us. So that's you guys too. Love. Yeah, so uh, when your heart rate is up, it may become a medical necessity for you to take your mask off. As long as you're greater than six feet apart from the people around you, you're doing fine. If you're moving around, you're around other people, put it on. So choose your own adventure. I'm not going to yell at you. I will assume you are checking in with you. Now, if you're over in Rob Square and you got your mask off, I'm going to loop over. Josh, smash. Josh, smash. <laughs>